Hello everyone. Today's question is about calculus, area and a curve. Part A of the question, find the gradient of the curve y is equal to x squared into x plus a half minus 1 over x at point 1 comma a half. Then part B, the figure below shows a sketch of the curve y is equal to 2x plus 3x squared. So we have the diagram. Then Roman 1, find the indefinite integral of 2x plus 3x squared. That is with respect to x. And then Roman 2, find the shaded area between x is negative 2 over 3 and x is 0, just as you can see in the diagram. Between x is negative 2 over 3 and x is 0. So at this point we have 0, sorry. Roman 3, the shaded area between x is 0 and x is 2. So Again, beginning from 0 up to 2 for the shaded region. And lastly, the total shaded area. So let's begin with part A. We are to find the gradient of the curve given at the point 1, comma, a half. So before we get the gradient, I just want us to expand the right-hand side of this equation. Y is equal to x squared by x, that is x cubed, plus x squared by a half, that is a half x squared, minus x squared by 1 over x, that is x. In order to determine the gradient of the curve at this point, we are going to consider the gradient function, that is dy dx. When we differentiate the right hand side, we will have 3x squared, that is for this term, and then for this other term we have, so plus, we take 2 multiplied by a half, that is 1, and then we have x, and then the power reduces by 1, that is 2 minus 1, which is just 1, x power 1 is just x, and then for negative x, that becomes 1. So with the gradient function, we can determine the gradient of the curve at the given point. So at the point 1, comma, a half, we know that the value of x is 1, that is the x coordinate. And therefore, the gradient, which is dy dx, is we are going to substitute the value of x in this equation here in the gradient function. And therefore, we are going to have 3 into 1 squared plus 1 minus 1. And that should give us 3. So that is the gradient of the curve. At the given point. For part B, we are given the diagram and then you're asked to find the indefinite integral of 2x plus 3x squared, that is with respect to x. For this term 2x, we are going to have 2x and then we increase the power of x by 1. So if x already is power 1, then 1 plus 1, that makes it 2, and then you divide by the power then for the next term, we also have 3x squared, so the power increases by 1, so we have 3x power 3, and then we divide by the same power, 3, and then we need not forget the constant term c. So this simplifies further to that equal to these cancel, so that we have x squared plus this and this will also cancel, and then we have x cubed plus the constant term c. So that is for Roman 1. For Roman 2, we are required to find the shaded area between x is negative 2 over 3 and x is 0. So back to the diagram, we are required to find the area that is shaded, this, between x is negative 2 over 3 and x is 0. So this region here. Remember, this is the region bounded by the curve, as you can see and the x-axis. So what we're going to do, we are just going to integrate the equation for the curve within the limits given, that is from x is negative 2 over 3 to x is 0. So already we've integrated the equation for the curve. So what we're just going to do is to introduce these limits. So we have x squared plus x cubed plus c, and then we do that within the limits provided, that is from x is equal to negative 2 over 3 
up to x is equal to 0. Substitute these in turns and then subtract. So for the first bracket, we are going to substitute 0. So when x is 0, that makes this 0. For this part also is 0. And then you're only left with c. I wish that we don't add c here because at the end of the day, it will disappear. So for the first substitution, this bracket becomes 0. And then we subtract. Next, we're going to substitute the lower limit, that is negative 2 over 3 for x. And therefore, we're going to have negative 2 over 3 here. And then it's squared, that is x squared. Plus, for the next part, we have negative 2 over 3. But now it is cubed, so cubed. And then, just like I said earlier on, we can forget about the constant term. It will still disappear. So remember, this is area. When you do this, you're finding area. And therefore, for this case, we are going to have 0 minus 4 over 9. We have a negative number raised to an odd power, so the result must be minus. So negative times positive is negative. And then here we have 8 over 27. So when you work out this, we're going to have negative 4 over 27. But remember, we're talking about the area. So we're going to ignore the negative, And the area becomes 4 over 27 square units. Remember, the negative here shows us that the area is in the lower region of the Cartesian plane. That's why it's considered as negative, just the direction. Next, we are to find the shaded area between x is 0 and x is 2. That is from this point x is 0 up to the point x is 2. So again, we are just going to use the same expression. x squared plus x cubed plus c. That is for the area. But this time around, we are looking at it from the limits x is 0 up to x is 2. And just like we did before, we're going to say area is equal to, so the first bracket, we substitute the upper limit, which is 2, and that is 2 squared for this part, plus 2 cubed for this part. You can ignore the constant term, it will disappear. And then you subtract for the next part when you substitute 0, so this term becomes 0, this term becomes 0, and again you're ignoring c, and therefore we have for that bracket 0. And then when you work out this, the area becomes, uh, so this is 4 plus 8, and that is 12 square units. Lastly, for part 4, we have to find the total shaded area. Remember, we want to get the total shaded area. We already have the area for this region and the area for this other region. So to get the total, we'll have to add. So the total area is obtained as, so we are going to add 4 over 27 to 12. We are going to have 12 and 4 over 27 square units. And that brings us to the end of this question. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.